line. Hey there, and welcome back to Shake It Till You Make It. Now, I've really been looking forward to this episode. Not because I had a little bit too much to drink last night, but also because I love Bloody Marys. Hair of the Dog drinks are a tried and true way to cure hangovers. It's the combination of a heavy vegetable base, which helps settle the stomach, and some salt to replenish those electrolytes, and the alcohol, which basically cures everything else. So, uh, let's get going. I like to make my Bloody Marys in a mixing cup. So we'll start off with an ounce and a half of vodka. And then I should probably get the other ingredients. Now we're cooking with gas. Three ounces of tomato juice. Salt and pepper. I like them, you know, like a good kick to it, you know? So a couple dashes of Tabasco. Dash of Worcestershire sauce. Worc Worcestershire. Am I saying that right? No? No. Perfect. And we'll get some lemon juice. Now, you can do like half an ounce of lemon juice. That seems like half an ounce. Mix it together. I don't think I forgot anything. Just grab a glass. And we'll do it in a goblet. Put some ice, mix everything together, pile it nicely in your glass. Garnish it with uh, some cucumber. Um, can't get that in. <laughs> I can't get it to the bottom of the glass so the ice cube's too big. This is a train wreck. And some olives for some extra saltiness. Thank God, I'm Bloody Mary. Can only go up from here. It's, it's really good. It's exactly what I needed. It's, you know, the tomato juice blocks out the vodka because in the, in the, in the early mornings of your hangover, you do not want a spirit for a drink. And like the spiciness and the pepper really helps like wake you up. If you noticed, we did an ounce and a half of vodka. We did three ounces of tomato juice. Again, it's a whiskey highball. It's a two to one ratio of the tomato juice to the spirit. And then you just build from there, adding in the saltiness, the pepper, the lemon, the Worcestershire sauce and the Tabasco. The Bloody Mary can be traced back to a French bartender named Fernand Pertois in 1921, whose initial version only consisted of tomato juice and vodka, and was originally called the Bucket of Blood. Jeez. Another theory on its origins say that the drink dates all the way back to the 1500s, when Queen Mary I of England reigned, who was nicknamed Bloody Mary for attempting to reestablish the Catholic Church. According to that source, the tomato juice represents the blood spilt, while the vodka, fire water, is symbolic of the queen's brutal means of executing the martyrs. Either way, we're thankful for it. There's so much you can do with a Bloody Mary, but for today, we're gonna stick with vodka and we're gonna show you other ways you can play around with it to make the Bloody Mary special. So now we're gonna make a Michelada. This is a Spanish drink. It's a play on the Bloody Mary, but it actually doesn't use any vodka. It's the first drink in our whole cocktail series that will not use a spirit. Instead, we're gonna use a lager. We're good. We got a Modelo today. So first we're gonna start off with four ounces of tomato juice, a dash of hot sauce, Need a little spicy. A dash of teriyaki sauce. I like to use this spoon to help me measure because otherwise you're gonna get a lot more than you bargained for. A dash of Worcestershire sauce. A dash of soy sauce. Use four ounces of this. It's good. This is really good actually. I haven't had a Modelo in a long time. Some lime, squeeze that in on top. 
mix that together. Served on ice. We'll just pour this in. Add a lime garnish. And there you have the Michelada. Cheers. It's good. It's it's tasty. You know, it's 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 almost like beer and tomato juice, which isn't something I would have ever been like, let's put these together. But it's not as it's almost a lighter punch than uh, a Bloody Mary because you have beer instead of spirit. So a nice little fun thing to have in your arsenal. All right, we're gonna make a Caesar cocktail. This is sort of a Canadian version of a Bloody Mary. And so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish the rim and we're gonna do it with some celery salt and uh, black pepper. One year later. That's good. And then we're gonna take and we've got our garnished rim. So now let's start building our Caesar. So we're gonna take an ounce and a half of vodka, a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit more than that. There we go. Some Worcestershire sauce. And now instead of tomato juice, we're gonna use, oops, let me shake it, Clamato juice. And we're gonna use six ounces of this. It's tomato juice with, um, I was gonna say oyster, but I was like, wait, that's not right, it's clams. And then we'll add a little bit of uh, fresh pepper and celery salt to this. Mix that all together. Add some ice to our glass. I'm gonna garnish with a lime wedge and a celery stick. Add a straw, and we have our Caesar. Cheers, I'm excited to try this. Hmm. It's really tasty. It's, it's got like the, it's got more of a briny taste because you have the uh, clams in the drink. <laughs> The Bloody Mary is a great hair of the dog drink to master for your home bar. And like the rest of the cocktails we've introduced so far on Shake It Till You Make It, I hope you realize that it's an awesome way for you to play around with your own taste preferences and create something awesome and personalized based on what you love and what you have on hand at home. With that, this is our last episode for the first round of Shake It Till You Make It drinks. And we hope you've had as much fun as we've had. Please let us know what you've enjoyed and what you want to learn and we'll do it with you because just like Caesar used to say, it's a Caesar drink, Rome wasn't built in a day and we've got a lot more to do. Cheers. It's not all fun and games. It's fun and games and costumes and cocktails. So like and subscribe for more.